We are at the North Wilkesboro Speedway for the 17th race of Season 1 of the SCRL Rainbow Dash Truck Series. The 10 of Raleigh Sproly Tube, we lead us to the green flag, starting beside him, is the 30 of Cole Nixley. The rest of the starting lineup. Again, if you see numbers on the right side, that means Brandon Kim decided to mess up while I recorded, so I had to go back, reset the field how it was in the actual race, and, you know, redo the start. I've been having a lot of problems with Brandon Kim. I don't know why it messes up sometimes, but it does. Our points leader, Jay Barker, will be starting fourth. His closest challenger in points, Colin Dreiberg, Colin Dreiberg will be starting way back in 36th. Noah Cars, who won the last race, who led all 50 laps, will be starting 21st. North Wilkesboro, yes. This legendary track that NASCAR no longer goes to. It's a shame. Drivers, stop your engines! It's a shame NASCAR gets rid of a lot of the, the good tracks. And the field is rolling off. For this event, I am using a brand new track, Wilkesboro 96. This is apparently a track made to look like the uh, last ever race held at this track in NASCAR history. I've never used it before, so I have no clue how they're going to act. There's Colin Jabberg starting way in the back. Looks like no one's having any problems. There's two Hendrick teammates, Noah Cars, who just won the last race, and John Ard. Pace truck is in. And for the very first time in this series, we are going to be racing at North Wilkesboro. Pace truck is in. And there's the green flag. Riley Sproly 2 leads him in turn 1. And turn 2. Also want to mention I toned down the AI a little bit. We're at 100. Should give us some green flag laps as well as some wrecks. Sproly 2 blocks. Going into turn 3. And turn 4. Riley Sproly 2 will lead the first ever laps at this track. In this series. So a little bit of history there. Bulldog 67 trying to go for 2nd. Not enough. It's amazing. The front three make that the front four have never won. Oh, he just bumped Cole Nixley out of the way. The front four make that the front five have never won in this series. That just shows you how tough this series is. The diversity, the challenge of the track, and your competition is just very tough. There's our points leader, Jay Barker, fighting Evan Rudd, who just scored his first win at Richmond a couple races ago. And Jeff Bright in the one truck moving up. He's not really had that much success, but he's in run, running in fourth right now, so that should uh, help him out a little bit. Jay Barker going underneath his teammate, Kyle Metz. Oh, we got about for the lead. Bulldog 67 has the third most wins. <clears throat> Actually, well, it's tied with third most wins with Nita HBK, who has won twice. Bulldog has not won, which is a shock. It's very rare that he ever not wins a race in the series because he was so dominant in the Legends series, our Season 2 champion. Cole Nixley as well, winless this season. Wants to join uh, Josh Nixley and Kim as winners in the Nixley family. Jeff Bright already talked about him. Evan Rudd. No wins until he dominated at Richmond. Our points leader, Jay Barker. One win this season, but he's been very consistent. Josh Barker has never really been able to you know, have a good uh, season. His family member has won a race, so, so has Josh. Josh won at Colorado. Oh, he got a spin, but no caution. 98, Kelly Lee. Ever since she won at Tucson, she's never really been able to, you know, have good results. And move back up the field. No caution because Kelly kept going, so... Let's check out where Colin Jabberg is. Second in points. 
He's only been moved up to 32nd. He's going to lose a lot of uh, points. John Racer in the 25 truck. He led the point standards early on, but his season has just fallen. He's never been able to really... He's been in contention, but he hasn't been, you know, really, really in contention. One win at Mesa Marlin. I'm pretty sure he'll be happy to return there in the two more races. So John Racer will want to sweep the events at Mesa Marlin. We move further up ahead. We actually have a new race leader. That's the 58 of Bordock 67. Raleigh Spurley, too, but has lost his lead. Here comes Cam Nixie. Not able to get under Bulldog 7 to pass. So Bulldog will lead yet another lap. Josh Nixley. Two-time winner this season at not Sturges and uh, Bristol. Josh Barker, as I said before, not really been having that great of a season. I mean, he won a race. The Colorado's just never... He's been low down in points and mostly in LCQs. Jesse Turner trying to get around Morgan McPherson. Turner is winless. Usually he has a lot of bad luck. I mean, you know, he's a quiet, consistent driver, but sometimes he has bad days like every like anybody else. Morgan McPherson, one win at Louisville. And we got a new race leader, the 30 truck, Cole Nixley. Hmm. It seems I should have put the AI on 110. Well, I didn't know what to do on this new track, so. Tackle white line and dead last. This is not the season she wanted. Just... It's been uncharacteristic like for her, you know. She dominated the Classic Truck Series. She had five wins that season. We are going to have three races to go after this, and she has not. She does not have a single win. So that's just very weird. Need HPK. Two wins this season in a part-time ride with Roush Racing. I'd say that's a success. Two wins. One of the very first event at Phoenix. She'll be glad to go back there and for the season finale, so she'll be trying to sweep Phoenix events, and she also won at IRP. Colin Dryberg moving up, still in 32nd. Zachary Fitzwater in the 75 truck trying to move around the 8 of Eli Bright. Fitzwater, no wins as well. Ding Drinker, same thing, no wins. Hudeo Fukuyami, no wins. Sebastian Torres, no wins. Richard Torres, no wins. And Chipper, no wins. Aureus, the unsponsored 81 truck, running the part-time deal. No wins as well. John Racer, uh, talk about him, Jack Decker, Grayson Ace Vidu, very surprised he does not have a win. He, he was successful in the Classic Truck Series, but not in this series. Noah Cars, there he is, dominated Martinsville, set a record, leading the most laps at 50. His name is in the history books right now for most laps led in a single race in the truck series. Treadle, the all-time race winner in this entire league with 20. Came to this series hoping to get 21. Has not been a season he wants to remember. Jesse Turner already discussed him. John Ard, I guess you could say he's the lesser of the two, lesser of the three Hendrick trucks. Noah Cars has a win. John Racer has a win. John R. does not. Back up through the field. The battle has tied up for first. Cole Nixley against Bulldog 67. And we are actually past halfway. I just noticed that. So we've gone the whole halfway distance without any cautions. 
For those of you that know regular NASCAR, back in 95, they would have a halfway break. But we don't do this. We don't do that here. It'd be kind of hard to do that. So Cole has a three hundredths of a second lead. And we're about to see seven. Third right now is Jeff Bright. Third is Riley Spurley, to our driver who led us to the green. Our points leader is in fifth. Then you got Evan Rudd, Josh Nixley, Josh Barker, Morgan McPherson, and Kyle Metz. Evan Rudd makes the move around the 43, so move Josh Nixley back a spot. Who had, oh, we got a caution. Whoa, the 61 truck of the SVK is smoking, has damage. The 21, and Cole Nixley leads him to the caution flag. And we ran the first 24 laps without a caution. And the first caution comes out on lap 25. So we had a pretty good uh, green flag run there. Cole Nixley is a race leader. We'll take a look and see what happened to the 61 and 21 trucks. I was so busy going through the field, I didn't even notice what was going on. Sebastian Torres got too much of a run. And bumps Aiden Shepard. And there goes Aiden. Into the outside wall. The 87 Colin Jobberg was barely able to miss. But the HPK and the 61 was not. Kelly Lee made it through. Matt Johnson did not. The 21 did not. Kaka White Lion. The 3, Jay Jefferson. Luckily, this happened way in the back, so not a lot of trucks were involved. So, Jay Jefferson, our winner at Portland. White Line, winless this season. He did HPK, a two-time winner. And Matt Johnson, not really a lot of places for them to go. Let's see. Uh, let's do camera one. Yep, Sebastian Torres just had too much of a too much of a run. And just slides up the track. Slides up the track. And Aiden Shepard is... In his way. And Dryberg just barely missed the 80. I mean, the 20. Needed HPK. Could not. And the trucks just start stacking in. So we had a five truck incident in turns three and kind of four. And I think only the 61 truck and the HPK will be out of the race because her truck is smoking. So she will not win three at this track. Well, took a long time before we got a caution. And we got one. And it's a five truck wreck in turn three. We'll take you back to the restart. A half a lap away from restarting this race. We got ten laps to go. Two drivers are out of the race. Need HPK and Kaka Watline. Both due to uh, the wreck they were involved in. Cole Nixley is your race leader. Second, Bulldogs 67. Third, Jeff Bright. Fourth, Riley Spurley Tube. Fifth, Jay Barker. Sixth, Evan Rudd. Seventh, Josh Nixley. Eighth, Josh Barker. Ninth, Morgan McPherson. And tenth, Cal Mintz. Pace truck is in. And we're back to racing at North Wilkes Barrow. These drivers have to make their moves. And here comes Jay Barker. This is for uh, fourth. This will be another point. Points for Parker, our points leader. That caution was not what Cole next lead wanted because he has actually had a one second lead when the caution happened. So well, we'll see if that unsponsored 30 truck can hold off the 58 unsponsored truck. Cole goes to the low lane and Bulldog goes to high lane, which is kind of unusual. You don't really want to pass. Whoa, and problems with 58 maybe. He lost a lot of ground. And the 7 did in fact 10, so now Jay Barker is in 4th. Riley Spurley Tube, our, our driver who left us at the green, is dropping back. One Jeff Bright. A good run today in that one truck. He won't turn his whole season around, but make him smile a little bit, maybe. And Cole Nixley is just keeping Boyle 67 at a two hundredth of a second lead. 
Let's take a look at... Where is he? There's Colin Jabber. Second in points. 27th. He's going to have to gain several more spots if he wants to leave here with a close range with Jay Barker. And the lead has stabilized. Actually, it gained. Cole has a 300th of a second lead now. So, Josh has won. And Cam has won. So this will be the third Nixie member to win this season. This track ain't that bad. I mean, may not have that many reds like I wanted, you know, because I toned down the AI just a little bit to 100. At the 06K, now we're trying to move up around Josh Parker. And there's Noah Cars in the 5. Moving his way up to about 12th. Cole is just pulled away, almost to a whole second lead. Next time by, it'll be the white flag, right? No. Sorry, I'm a lap ahead. And not really. Oh, here comes the 43. This will be five points that Jay Barker will be losing to Josh Nixley. You never know, that could cost him the championship at the end of the year. That would be very bad if that were to happen. What can you say about Cole Nixley? Winless so far this season. One of the few Nixley members who has not won this season. He got battle for third. It is white flag. One to go. Cole took the lead and has never looked back. I thought he might have been in trouble, you know, when the caution came out, but he has pulled away from everybody else. Cole Nixley out the final turn dominates. He doesn't lead every lap, but he will win at North Wilkesboro. Uh, that was a fun race. Not too bad of a track. Here are the race results. Cole Nixley scores the win. Second, Bullock 67. Third, Raleigh Spelly Tube. Fourth, Jeff Bright. Fifth, Josh Nixley. Sixth, our points leader, Jay Barker. Seventh, K. Irene. Eighth, Josh Barker. Ninth, Evan Rudd. And tenth, John Ard. No cars. Finished twelfth. I mentioned that, you know, because he won the last race. Rest of the race results. 38 trucks finished the race on the lead lap. No one was a lap down. Two drivers out. Keck Whiteline and the HPK both due to the lone caution of the day. That is it for the 17th race. We'll take you to victory lane with Cole Nixley. Whoops. Sorry. Wrong button. Here are your point standings after the 17th race of the season at North Wilkesboro. Jay Barker continues to hold the point lead, and his point lead has expanded. He now has a 148 point lead over Colin Jaberg. Third, Noah Cars, he gained a spot, 170 points back. Fourth, Cam Nixley, 204 points back. Fifth, Cole Nixley, 254 points back. So Cole gained nine spots in that race. Sixth is Morgan McPherson, 292 points back. 7th, Kelly Lee, 303 back. 8th, Kate and Irene, 305 points back. 9th, John Racer, 314 points back. And 10th, Cackle White Lion, 320 points back. I would say the first 10, as I just mentioned, are the only drivers still eligible for the, for the championship. So, yeah. That's the point stands. I know it's blurred. Forgive me. That is it for North Wilkesboro. We will see you at the 18th race of the season at Sears Point.